Okay, on February 2nd, uh, which is two full weeks ago, we had an intruder in the building. I have a picture of the intruder right here. This intruder walked into our building on uh, February 2nd at around 11.15 in the morning. He was clearly drunk and uh, somewhat psychotically agitated. He asked to see the rabbi. The security guard confronted him, told him to leave. He refused to leave. The security guard asked him to leave again. He refused to leave again. The security guard escorted him out of the building. The uh, person resisted. The security guard physically escorted him out of the building. The person resisted again. And then the security guard needed to resort to uh, pushing him completely out of the buildings to protect our children. And thank God we had our security guard protecting our children that day so that our children were safe. When the EMS came to take the uh, person away, the EMS told us that this was a known psychotic person who walks around Brooklyn and who has been threatening other people in the past. And thank God we had a security guard like the security guard we have that got rid of that assailant before he did any damage to our children. Now, now you say thank God for the security, but how concerned are you in general with the security issue with the yeshivas that still might not have security? What would you advise them? Listen, in these days and ages, every single yeshiva needs to check into its security. We have done a complete security analysis of all of the uh, facilities in our yeshiva, and I would recommend that all other yeshivas do the same thing. They can contact their local police precinct. The police precincts have been amazing at providing us with advice in terms of how to better secure our facilities, not just with locks, but with cameras, so that we can know clearly what's going on at all times in our buildings. And it's a tremendous thing. Every building, every Jewish building needs to take appropriate precautions as soon as possible.